New tonight, President-elect Joe Biden says he is confident his inauguration will be safe in the wake of those deadly riots where some people climbed onto scaffolding set up for the January 20th ceremony. This morning, President Trump announced in a short tweet that he won't be there, ending speculation as to whether or not he would attend. And new this hour, News Nation correspondent Tom Negevin takes us in-depth on the changes to security plans for the inauguration. Tom joins us live in Washington, D.C. Tom. Hi, Marnie. Yes, security is tighter here already and will stay that way until long after the inaugural is over. And the congressional leaders running the event tell us when it comes to safety, they have no doubts. It now surrounds the entire Capitol perimeter, seven feet of steel designed to be impossible to climb erected immediately after the carnage on Wednesday. It's among the most visible signs of heightened security here, but the fence would have gone up in a few days either way. Behind the scenes is a lot more. The inauguration of a president is designated an NSSE, a national special security event run by the Secret Service, but involving dozens of other agencies, including the Department of Defense, which leads counterterrorism. This time, even though attendance is limited by a pandemic, more than 6,000 National Guard members will be in the Capitol on loan from six states and in place for 30 days. Former Capitol Police Chief Terry Gaynor telling News Nation security is incredibly well rehearsed. I anticipate there will be no problem with the inauguration other than the uh, insulting response from the current sitting president. While the president himself won't be there, an announcement he made on Twitter, former presidents Barack Obama, George W. Bush, and Bill Clinton will be. Jimmy Carter will miss an inauguration for the first time since his own. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will take the oath of office from one of the exact places where Wednesday's violent mob overpowered police and stormed the Capitol. The scaffolding you see them on here, that was set up for the inaugural. A totally different entity is in charge of the inauguration that was in charge of protecting the Capitol, the Secret Service. I have great confidence in the Secret Service. And in a statement, the Secret Service says it's been working tirelessly to anticipate and prepare for all possible contingencies at every level to ensure a safe and secure inauguration day. The uh, plans that go into place for the inauguration go on for nearly a year in advance. We are going to have to have a dramatically increased security presence on January 20th. Missouri Senator Roy Blunt chairs the committee that runs the event. We'll, we'll be there less than two weeks from now, and I'm, I'm confident in the security. It's not that nothing could go wrong, but we'll do everything we could possibly do as we do every four years to ensure that nothing does go wrong. And Senator Blunt made news in another way today, an announcement that the uh, Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee of the Senate will be holding hearings to investigate the breakdown in security on Capitol Hill this week. Live in Washington, Tom Negevin, News Nation.